Hi, welcome to You Beautiful Creation. I'm Tina Jackson, and with me today, I have my co-host, Renee Clements. Hey, everybody. Hey, Miss Tina. Renee. How, How are, are you, doing? darling? Good, girl. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Doing joy, joy, joy today. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Abundant joy. Overflowing, actually. Amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> the joy. Let the joy just begin to flow out Amen. into the atmosphere. Amen. This whole world needs more joy. There's yeah. such downtroddenness. You know, it's so, it's so funny. Sometimes you go to the store and everybody's just walking with their head down like, I just got to get my stuff and just get out of here. And uh, Well, when you think we just come off of, you know, like Christmas not all that long ago, you said, joy to the world. Yes. The Savior is born. He's came mm -hmm. into this world. Amen. Let earth <laughs> receive her king. her king. Amen. Think about that. If the, the, the world would receive their king, mm -hmm. they would have more joy. Yeah. They yeah. you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, because the, the, when your, your salvation is in the Lord, you know, death has no more sting. I mean, mm -hmm. you're just like, yeah, well, whatever, you know. Um, some days it's like, well, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, amen. Not, not in a suicidal way, but no. just in a way of just saying, oh, oh Lord, Lord, Jesus, you know. I want to just a, be with you, so you, you know. Yeah. And it's a, it's a good thing. It is a different perspective. You had mentioned the word perspective last episode. And uh, it is a different perspective in life, you know, and, and renewing our mind to get that joy, that gift of joy. Yeah, because Jesus joy. is the, the yeah. gift, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then he said just like in the song, you know, think about the words of those songs. Sometimes we just go through the motions and sing the song. But you think about those words, mm -hmm. you know, because true joy, like you were saying earlier about the song that we used to sing, you know, this joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me. Yeah. Because Genuine joy is only through the Lord Jesus that we mm -hmm. find it, you yeah. know, and then Him only is it there. Yeah. And that's why it's, the Lord talks about come to know Him mm -hmm. in the fullness of Him, because mm -hmm. there's joy unspeakable and full of glory, mm -hmm. like the Lord talks about, you know. So, mm -hmm. with that, what Amen. do you want to go, you know, like, okay, mm -hmm. Nehemiah mm -hmm. talks about this. He says, and I've heard, you probably heard a lot of people talk about this, say, you know, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. And it, it really, truly is. Where, do you, where are you drawing your strength? Are you drawing it from the Lord? Mm -hmm. Because that's where it really is genuinely, like we just said. Yeah. It, it resides on the inside mm -hmm. of you and bubbles up over. Mm -hmm. You know, it's unmistakably there. And contentment goes along with that, too, so that you're not shaken. So that great peace, like he said, too, is resonant, too, as mm -hmm. well. Present. Be in the present. Mm-hmm. Yeah, let that joy rule and that peace rule in your heart. Amen. And through even the darkest circumstances, you know, you can have joy in the process. Yes. And, um, you know, just, and people look at you like, why aren't you, like, freaked out over this? And you're just like, I'm at peace. I'm content, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in the Lord. Yes. And whether, you know, and I, th and I think that comes through definitely a relationship with the Lord because, Many times, and many of the afflictions that have come my way, God has actually prepared me beforehand. Mm -hmm. And He has actually prepared my heart beforehand. So when those trials and tribulations come, you're already rooted and grounded. That was that good soil we had spoke about last episode, to be able to handle the trials that come your way. Mm -hmm. And um, tribulations and trials are going to come to everybody, unfortunately. Uh, James 1 talks about it because it's to mature your faith. But the key is, we're gonna try to get that key as not losing the joy in the process. And mm -hmm. um, I know for myself, I'm, I, I went through that circumstance and, and that's my determination this year, get that joy. Because <laughs> I, you know, just going through trials and circumstances for so long, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's easier when you got small trials and circumstances that are just, you know, a week, two weeks, maybe a month, two months, but when they go a couple years, it feels like it just starts to wear on you and you have to stir yourself up in the Holy Spirit. You have to stir yourself up in the Lord to get that joy back because once you've tasted joy, like I've tasted joy, I know what joy is about. And when you lose it or you sort of kind of just realize where did it go, you're just like, I gotta have it back. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have a filet mignon and you like a filet mignon, you just suddenly got that palate taste, you, you gotta have it again. You know, I gotta have that again. So, amen. So give us some joy, girl. <laughs> give us some joy scriptures, Miss Rainey. <laughs> yes. 
Amen. We'll put it in here. <laughs> Just bring them out, Renee. Stir us up. This is true. Okay, I want to say Isaiah 12. Amen. Um, two and three, Amplified, it says, um, once again, we're just talking about the Lord is our joy. Mm -hmm. And it truly, truly is. Um, it says, Behold God, my salvation, I will trust and not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and song. Have you lost your song? Yeah, you got to sing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he has become my salvation. So in, in essence of that, that comes with it. Three says, therefore, with joy, will you draw water from the wells of salvation? That's that well that's on the inside of you. When I was yes. talking to you earlier a little bit about the rivers of living water Amen. flowing through you. And it mm -hmm. wasn't just a well, it's rivers. Yes. That it it progresses, progresses too. Yeah. And to me, that says abundance that the Lord says exceeding joy I want you to have. Mm -hmm. And you can have that in the Lord if you stay mm -hmm. with Him. Yeah. Stay with Him, say, you know, go with Him yeah. and not veer off. It's when we get off, like He says, don't turn to the left or to the right, mm -hmm. but stay focused upon me and what yeah. I want to do for you and have already done for you. Actually, mm -hmm. like we've talked about many a time before, it's, it's a finished work. Yeah. So that in that, knowing that, we can mm -hmm. rest assured that the Lord has us. Amen. And so don't take the cares of this earth there, and right. this life upon you and stir up the Holy Spirit. Fan Woo! those flames, <laughs> yes. There's the flame yes. of the Holy Spirit. Ray in tongues, I'm gonna tell Amen. you again. And I know yeah. for myself, you know, I noticed that when I would feel more hindered, it was like because I hadn't stirred myself up in tongues. Um, you know, because maybe even um, during the holidays, there was like the family was always around and I didn't have my alone time right. that I normally would have. My routine got out of whack because the family, you know, everything's just different when you're on vacation or mm -hmm. traveling and, and just things are different. And it's like that stirring up of the Holy Spirit, stirring up of tongues, because that does keep the gifts flowing smoothly, that river of living water. Amen. 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 Yeah. And yeah, you want to, um, you got the well, you got the river, and the, the, the Lord is very clear that the Holy Spirit is the river of living water. And um, so pray, 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 pray in tongues, sing in spirit. I know I had a chance the other day, uh, I went to um, the service and they were worshiping, and I just decided to just break out in a spiritual song. You know, I was off to the side, so I wouldn't disrupt anybody. But it is so refreshing to sing to the Lord in tongues. It, even if it's just the sounds and syllables that are just coming out, mm -hmm. it is so, it's like a, a high that you get, I guess. Just being, let, letting that river just wash through you and over you. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. Amen. It's just, just glorious. And um, yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, because you know what? The Lord revealed, unveiled this to me just the other day. He's like praying in the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. like the Lord talks about as well. And he said, you're building yourself up in your most holy faith as an edifice. Mm -hmm. But not only that, it opens up the other gifts that are available. Yes. You know, and I think, wow, you know, once again, that's a revelation knowledge of what the Holy Spirit has for you. Mm -hmm. The same way that Jesus walked this earth, he says, you can too. Yeah. It's and not been with all of us. Yeah. We have to, he was commissioning us. Right, absolutely. You have to be working in the gifts of the Holy Spirit in mm -hmm. order to do the works he did and greater. Amen. You cannot do this on our own accord. And one, one you know, it was funny because I was, I was talking to a lady last night and she's like, I was always told that only certain people pray in tongues or only certain people work in wisdom because they take 1 Corinthians 12 out of context mm -hmm. about the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And I said to her, I said, okay, so did you just receive a little sliver of the Holy Spirit or did you receive the whole Holy Spirit? Yeah, because it, yeah. you have to get the, the revelation. I got the whole Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. So you have access to wisdom, knowledge, understanding, healing, tongues, interpretation, and everything else that's, that's mentioned there. And it's like these nine little gifts that are wrapped up with a pretty bow and God saying, I want you to be working in all of the gifts. So go ahead, unwrap that gift and present it and let me teach you about it. Because he's like, yay, I get to teach you about wisdom. I get to teach you about words of knowledge <laughs> or tongues or interpretation of tongues, Amen. whatever it may be. And he's like, I want you to develop in the fullness of every single gift. 
so that you are fully equipped to go help people. And when you're in the grocery store or wherever, and all of a sudden God just puts a little drop of knowledge in you, you're aware of it. And so you're able to give that person a word of knowledge or you know, give some wisdom to a circumstance that's going on because you're already familiar with how to work with the gift because he, he gets that multifaceted ability to work in and through you and it's so fun. Amen. And you know, I was saying how earlier, see this message is all about me. <laughs> no, you're always Praise hearing about my trials and turbulations <laughs> and circumstances and hopes that it's gonna help you. But you know, when I felt like I'd lost my joy, I, you know, I'm like, Lord, I just feel like there's, you know, but he gave me the opportunity to pray with a couple people to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, Praise which God. is my thing. I just love to talk about that. And I got such a high and such a joy. And I, I was just like so excited. And I'm like, this is it. This is the joy that I've been missing and loving. I mean, if I don't get a chance to pray with someone to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit or to speak about it with people, it's, it, I mean, that, should, let me turn that around. Let me just say that that's where I get a lot of my joy is because I'm ministering God or Jesus to the people and I'm seeing them blossom before my eyes and I just get to partake in seeing this beautiful thing, you know, beautiful people blossom into this gift. And it's so, Glorious. Amen. So glorious. So, you know, you're on that, you're going to. So glorious, but I wrote a book. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> that is really an accomplishment. So, yes. I mean, it's with yes. the Lord's help, right? Yeah, so the mystery is revealed on speaking in tongues. And um, so, yeah, and uh, <laughs> so available on Amazon and Barnes and Noble and I'm sure at other places, maybe even Christian bookstores and stuff. But it's basically a lot of the stuff we always say on our programs, because I'm always trying to teach you, you know, in a free way, you know, to, to know about it. You can even find free videos of mm -hmm. me speaking about this online because I want each and every person to know exactly what the baptism of the Holy Spirit is and speaking in tongues, because I think that's the power source, because Jesus said it was actually in Acts 1. He says, wait here until the Holy Spirit comes upon you because then you're going to receive power. You're going to receive that dunamis dynamite power. So you can blow up that works of the enemy, you know, and the tactics of them. Right. And um, to pray out the mysteries, praying out mysteries that are amongst you. Amen. So amen. So the, the Holy perfect. Spirit, yeah. Amen. Work in the gifts. <laughs> amen. So... You can find it on Amazon. <laughs> <laughs> or really like it. But that is a, it's, it's sweet. I mean, that was that's her first book, and I think she's got yes. another one. Number two is coming mm -hmm. soon. I'm working on it this year. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll see how things go. <laughs> just wonderful, just little fun <laughs> testimonies that you hear Amen. me talk about of how God just has just made an impact in my life. Whether it's about the uh, up pineapple upside down cake and God shows up, shows off, and shows off. And it was just fun. Well, you know, in, in sharing with that, Tina, I want to say this, you know, I was reminded, and I spoke with you earlier a little bit about it, about um, Jesus when he ministered at the well, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the Samaritan woman, when she came. The neat thing about that was Jesus was, was like he was going to take a breather, okay, and he sent the disciples off. You know the story, right? Maybe we should go ahead and read the story because there are a lot of viewers that might not Know okay. That story. Yeah, we'll go there. So, okay. Okay. So, go 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 to where it's right there. But I wanted to read this too. Also sure. about joy. Okay. In Isaiah fifty one eleven and twelve, he says, "For the Lord says, and the redeemed of the Lord shall return and come with singing to Zion, and the everlasting joy shall be upon their heads, and they shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away." So it's, and sometimes it's a, it's a effort of your faith sometimes just to say, Lord, I know this is, this is plaguing me and I'm, I'm not feeling so joyful right now, but mm -hmm. feelings are all subject to change. Yeah. They yeah. truly are. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's sometimes when we react, it's because of an emotion that's going on. But then, like the Lord says, you have to press through mm -hmm. and put those emotions aside. And mm -hmm. how that happens is through maturity in the Lord to say, that's not going to rule me. I'm going to overrule it. Amen. You know what I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and when you begin to praise and worship the Lord, like you were saying in the services, and, and even in your alone time when you're with the Lord or wh wherever you're at, because, you know, he's not, can, he's not, 
you know, limited. Yeah, you know. yeah. He's not just limited to a church building by yep. no means. Yes, no. absolutely. God so, shows up all the time in my bathroom. Amen. <laughs> I'm amen. Ready. Well, that throne room is more than a, just the throne room. Right. <laughs> well, see, in absence, when you know, say, you know, you are the temple of the Holy mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. You're that walking temple, mm -hmm. and God resides on the inside of you. So, to for the church to get that yeah. and not think that everything has to be contained behind church walls. Mm -hmm. Not when he says you go out and you are the church. He said go out in the highways and the byways and compel them to come in. Amen. Well, where is in? In is, you know, what's coming out of you in mm -hmm. essence, mm -hmm. really. Because like I said, you are the walking temple. You are the epistles known and read by men, the Bible says, right? Amen. So. Amen. Yeah, we got to have testimonies. Amen. You know, if you don't have a testimony, you didn't go through a trial. You can't Amen. get the victory. I mean, you Trials and tribulations have to come. It's that James 1 that yeah. I've had to read numerous times. <laughs> like, I'm like, can we get through the final exam, Lord? Because I'm done with trials and tribulations. But um, it is a part of life where this is not heaven. And um, it's not. But you but can we have are to be victorious right. through the circumstances. But heaven working through you, Amen. though, because you've tasted of heaven tasted and, it, it. and it lives in you now. Yeah. It's, you know, he lives, he moves, and has his being in and through mm -hmm. and on you. So. Amen. There's what it is, but uh, anyway, go ahead. You were going to what'd you say? Uh, well, if you wanted, I could read the um, James John four about the woman at the well. Okay. <clears throat> Did you want your version, my version? What do you want, version? Version. Um, go ahead. So um, let's go for John four, uh, verse seven ish. I'm going to start. I'm going to read the message because I just I'm determined to just really just Get the devour message. the message. <laughs> yeah, I have no <laughs> idea what's going to say right now, so we're going with it. A woman, a Samaritan, came to draw water. Jesus said, Would you give me a drink of water? And his disciples had gone into the village to buy some food for lunch. And a, a Samaritan woman, taken back, asked, How can you, a Jew, ask me, a Samaritan woman, for a drink? Jews in those days didn't get caught dead talking to a Samaritan. And Jesus answered, If you knew the generosity of God and who I am, you would be asking me for a drink, and I would give you fresh living water. Amen. So Is there's that? where it comes from, mm -hmm. the living waters. Jesus. Yes. Drink and see, Jesus. because, see, at the time he was sitting there, and I know it was a pointed thing that he'd be there to even talk to her, because normally the women probably would come out in the morning time, and you've heard different versions of people's stories on this, mm -hmm. but we stay with what the Word says, what happened there. She was only one, mm -hmm. and he was right there present, mm -hmm. and the disciples were gone. Okay, they were going to get food and everything, but think about this. He had meat once they finally came back that they knew not of, and yet mm -hmm. he was able to pour out to her yeah. while he was, yes, he knew what it was like to be in a human body to get tired and, and to get like a little reprieve, if you will, but was there to minister to her. And by him doing that, pouring mm -hmm. out, and that's what she was talking about. Yeah. When you've tasted of that to um, give out to people, to minister to people, what takes over is just, you can't explain it. There is a joy there, there is a high mm -hmm. that the Lord supernaturally puts upon us, mm -hmm. gives us as we minister His Word. Mm -hmm. It's Him being ministered, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So then, there's, I always say there's no high like the Most High. Yeah, yeah. And, and absolutely. that is the truth, and you've tasted that, I've tasted that, and it's, yeah. it's glorious, it really is. Yeah. It's, it's, we go from glory to glory with the Lord in that because we're co-laboring together with Him right. in it, you know, as the Holy Spirit directs us to. Yeah, so yeah. it was it was cool because when I got home that night from that particular women's ministry night and being able to to minister to these women, uh, you know, I was just such on high. My my kids are like, "Are you drunk, mom? Like, did I you do. have something to drink?" <laughs> I'm like, "No, I am just I so drinking excited. of the living water." See? Yeah, I was. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I was drinking of the Lord, and, and that was, <laughs> you know. I was drunk in the Lord, yeah, and it was great because I was like, this is where I love to just, can we just stay here and just Amen. minister to people receiving this? Because it was just so beautiful to just see this veil comes off their eyes and off their hearts, and it's just... It, it's just nothing more to see that. I mean, when you see that, you're just like, oh, you got it, you got it. You know, it's just such an excitement 
And uh, it's just, I can't describe it any other way of um, being maybe like what a doctor feels when they get to deliver the baby and say, here's your baby. You know, you get to just partake in such a beautiful, precious gift. It's neat that you say that because I remember mm -hmm. when my daughter was born and I just so love my doctor. <laughs> and she's a Christian woman too on top of that. So it's like, hey, you know, on top of that. But she says, you know, Renee, there is nothing like that that experience of delivering a baby and mm -hmm. it's a, the new birth. Mm -hmm. There's nothing like that. Until you become born again, until you experience that, there is no comparison. Right. There isn't. And she says, I always want to be present mm -hmm. when the, my babies are being born. She calls them her babies. Mm -hmm. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and she no longer delivers babies, although she said because of insurance things and whatnot, she doesn't do it anymore. But, you know, there again, um, she always, always would always be there, try to be there instead of having someone else take that place. Because, mm -hmm. you know, it's like a working, you know, she's right there with you, like yeah. usually to say, hey, you know, we're pregnant, you know, this kind of thing, you know, and just right there throughout the progression of it all, right? Mm -hmm. So that being the case, she's like, you know, this is, she gets to see the finale of it, of it yeah. and be there for the birthing of it. And it's just, she said, nothing shy of a miraculous thing, t you know, to mm -hmm. be there like that and experience it. Right. And even, you know, it doesn't even have to just be with tongues. You know, it could be like when you start beginning to work in the gift of healing. And let's say you lay hands on someone and you pray for healing and you see that manifestation come. You know, it's I can exciting. only imagine like Andrew Womack when he raised his son, you know, and his son got raised from the dead or his wife got raised from the dead through him praying. That's ecstatic. That's exciting yes. to see the Word of God just manifest before your Amen. eyes, God working. You know, that's sort of like yes. the disciples. They came back and they're like, we're so excited. Everything's working in your name. And he's and Jesus is like, well, don't be excited about that. Be excited that your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, you know. Yes. Um, you know, that's... Because that truly is a miracle yeah. in itself. And I believe that's going to become more commonplace. Amen. I seriously do believe that because mm -hmm. for such a time as this, yeah. you know... Times are wrapping up. They we need are. the miraculous. Amen. And, you know, um, like you said, you know, for some people to really to, to perceive and come to know that it is a miracle, mm -hmm. you know, and just like you said, that your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to kind of go to Second yes. Corinthians 7, if we could, yes, please. real quick here in the Amplified. He says, um, therefore, since these great promises are ours, he said, beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from everything that contaminates. You know, you were talking about being away from toxic Mm -hmm. spirits. I want to say that because that's where they originate from as opposed to just blaming it on the people because they don't know better. Yeah. You know, if you know better, you do better. Let me mm -hmm. say that. Okay. And, and defiles the body and spirit and bring our, our consecration to completeness in the reverential fear of the Lord, reverencing the Lord. It says, uh, do open your hearts to us again, enlarge them to take us in and say, so we have wronged no one. This is Paul, of course, talking, you know, and of course we know that some people would say, yeah, he did wrong some people, <laughs> but being a new man, a new mm -hmm. creature in Christ Jesus can say this. And a lot of people are like, how can he say that? Mm -hmm. You know, he was, he was persecuting Christians yeah. until, exactly. of course, he had that Damascus experience, as we know, it really changed his life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he, yeah, without that, he would have never, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Right. Same with all of us, you know, taste and see and experience the Lord. It's, it is an ex experiential walk with Him. Yeah. It's not just hearsay, wah, wah, wah. You know, it truly is what you experience mm -hmm. with the Lord and the reality of Him making Himself m more real to you as you walk out mm -hmm. your life with Him. That's where the joy comes. Is Amen. Is experiencing Him. Yes. And through, yeah. Four says that too. So I want to yeah, come, jump right down here. It says, this, I have great boldness. <laughs> and there's where the boldness comes in too mm -hmm. with the Lord. You know, um, you do get that with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Because yeah. I know prior to myself receiving, and I may have testified to this too, that I didn't have that boldness until mm -hmm. I received the baptism of the Holy Spirit. And now I freely am able to speak to whomever the Lord tells me yeah. to and mm -hmm. be attentive to what he's saying. But anyway. I think that boldness, though, comes because you experience the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Right. Because when you finally have something tangible, like something that really commenced and, and happened, 
then no one can shake you off that, that God is, right. God is real. You know God is it's, real. It's this, solid. This is solid. This is, you have commenced, you're married, like you are together now. Amen. And um, that is why you can be bold right. because you don't have that wavering faith. It's not a religious doctrine. Yes. Like I was speaking to that lady that was Lutheran last night and she's just all, she just knew about just religious rituals like things and she's like I never heard about tongues what are you talking about you know wow. and I'm like let me tell you <laughs> can I have a seat sit down here <laughs> so it was fun but yeah you know <laughs> then you have the boldness to say I can tell you about what I know amen. and because you know, you've experienced it amen amen, amen. Praise God. Let me finish and say this Let real finish. quick. It says, yes. courage towards you. My, it says, um, confidence and cheerful courage towards you. It says, I am filled, brimful, I like this, with the comfort of it, with all our tribulations. She was talking about tribulations. Mm -hmm. And in spite of it, I am filled with comfort and I am overflowing with joy. Amen. Now you know and I know that only way you can get that is through the knowledge in your heart of hearts of the Lord Jesus. Because without that, amen. Amen. So I guess we want to give you that opportunity, if you haven't received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, to take that moment and then to get, re, receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, to get that infilling to speak in tongues. And you're going to get all the other gifts that are with it. Uh, you get it all. Or maybe you're going to work in wisdom and you just thought that that's the only gift that you were allowed to work in because you were under this church doctrine thing. You get it all. Ask for it all. God wants to give it to you all. Yeah. And um, and also seek more information um, about, you know, learning more about the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So, oh, we got like two minutes to wrap this up to get you <laughs> saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> oh, God. Go ahead. <laughs> Heavenly Father, just take this moment and just say, Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Yes. Fill me afresh today. Receive ye now the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Just say, I receive the Holy Spirit and I receive an activation of tongues and all the other gifts in Jesus' and name. In Jesus' name. Jesus and name. as you begin to just receive you, a wave of the Holy Ghost right now, just whatever syllables begin to speak, uh, just even grab some. Da -da 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 -da. And you, you know what? It'll again. change if that's not what you're supposed to grab. You, and Jesus. just let him flow up from your belly, yes. up through your vocal yes. cords, in out into the atmosphere. Jesus, let the Holy Father. Spirit come yes. up and on you yes. and be refreshed today in Thank Jesus' you, mighty Lord, name. God. And let us hear of your good testimonies. Yes. Give us a call. Write us and let us hear your good news in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. amen. Praise God. Well, I'm Tina Jackson. And I'm Renee Clements. And you are a beautiful creation in Christ Jesus. Thank yeah. you for joining us today and be joyful. <laughs> <laughs> amen.